Hi everyone! Today I'm back with another room makeover. This time I'm going to be fixing up my bedroom. This makeover has been a long time coming and I think I originally planned to do it over winter. But spring is here now and I've suddenly got this burst of motivation to fix up my bedroom to make it into a really lovely space to hang out. The last makeover video I shared was of my sewing space, so I'll leave that video linked in the description below if you'd like to check it out. But this is going to be something completely different and I'm excited to share this makeover journey with you. So let me start off this video by showing you what my bedroom looks like currently. So as you walk in, it basically just has my bed in the center of the room with these makeshift handmade crate bedside tables. I've also got a laundry basket there and I've got a big mirror here that I'm excited to finally set up in this space. I bought this probably, no joke, a year ago, I think, and it's been sitting there patiently waiting for me to do up my space. The plan for this mirror is to go over here onto my set of drawers here. As you can see, I tried to do like this experiment which didn't work obviously and I tried scraping it off. Um, I did a really bad job and then lost all motivation. But today I'm going to sand it back down and give it a good old paint um, and make this set of drawers a lot nicer. I picked these drawers up from a thrift store when we first moved into this place. I think I paid probably $20 for them and I really like the look of them. They're kind of mid-century and they've got these beautiful little drawer handles um, which are just so unique and different and again very mid-century styled so I'm definitely going to be keeping those um and then on top of the drawers I have my plant I don't even know what sort of plant it is you can see it here on the label I've had this plant for about five years I think but it's really starting to look pretty sad and as according to the back of this they can grow to be about a meter and a half high so I think it's just a bit sad because the pots may be a little bit too small for it um, and I need to get a little stick to help support it upwards a bit so it can grow into its best self. Then next to that I have this clothes rack so this is full of my dresses, um, our shirts, I share this with my partner Matt and then it has this handy little nook for shoes but We've got way too many shoes for it. It's definitely overflowing. So I want to come up with a different solution for storing our shoes. We also have one hook at the back of this door where we hang our coats. And I have a few of my bags just kind of chilling there as well. I want to fix this up too because I think we can utilize the back of this door a lot better than we are currently. And then I just have this little mirror in the corner here. It's filthy, so don't look too closely, but I'm actually going to get rid of it. So I've been putting off cleaning it because I'm not going to be using it for much longer anyway. But that is our bedroom currently. Oh, and Matt has his skateboard just sitting here as well. He commissioned two local artists to paint the underside of it, and I think it's really cool. So I like having that on display. So as you can see, there's nothing wrong with this room. It's quite nice actually, I don't hate it. I just think it could be a lot better and I think because we haven't changed it up since we first moved in here nearly five years ago, it's definitely in need of a bit of a changing up. And it just makes you fall in love with the space again, I feel. If you just put a little bit of effort in changing up a space, not even that much, just a little bit, it can make you fall in love with it all over again. And yeah, I'm really excited to fix this bedroom up. So I have set up a few things that I've bought and picked up recently here on my sewing table. You can kind of start to get a bit of an idea of the colour scheme and the look that I'm going for. But to help you really visualise what I'm trying to achieve today, I also made a mood board. So let me show you that so you can get a bit more of an idea. So as you can see, I'm definitely going all out with my love for pink in this room. I'm planning on painting the drawers like a nice light pink colour. It's going to be the same pink as this table, maybe just a bit darker. And I can't wait. I think that's just going to make the room just look so pretty. I've also been obsessed with these kind of terracotta and pink coloured linens for your bed. I haven't splashed out and bought any new bedding for this, but I did make a couple of pillowcases and I think they'll just add that really beautiful warm color to the space. I also really love the look of rattan 
lampshades at the moment, but they are horrifically expensive to buy. So I kind of DIY'd a shade out of a wicker basket I picked up from the thrift store. I actually shared the whole making process of the light shade and the pillowcases in last week's video. So if you would like to make any of those for yourself, definitely check that video out. And I also managed to pick up a heap of this really pretty lace curtain from Spotlight. I think I paid probably $4 for the lot. It was like a remnant. So I snapped that up. And I think because our bedroom's kind of facing the street, that will just add a little bit of privacy. And it also gives this really beautiful, mm, I don't know how to explain it, but like it gives a really nice diffused light when you have lace curtaining up like this. And I think it will just add to the space nicely. I also bought this over the door hook from Bunnings recently. Um, so I think this is going to be a great way to solve the back of the door coat storage situation because there's obviously a lot more hooks. And I really like this one because it has the hooks down the bottom, but also at the top. So I can put like hats and bags and all sorts on there. I just think that's going to help organize the back of the door way better. So yeah, I hope that this kind of gives you a bit more of an idea of the look I'm going to be going for with this space. I think the thing I will start off with first is sanding back the drawer and then start painting it because then at least I can paint a coat, let it dry and do other things while it's drying. First things first, I need to move everything off the drawer and take all the contents of the drawer out. And then hopefully I'll be able to carry it outside because I don't want to paint in here because we're renting and I don't want to risk spilling any paint. So the plan I have for this chest of drawers is to sand it back to the original timber and then just paint the main body of the drawer, leaving the actual drawers timber to hopefully give it a kind of two-toned look. This first coat is just a simple primer and then once that dries, I'll be going in with the pink. While I wait for the primer to dry, it's actually pretty breezy out there today, so it shouldn't take long. I'm going to attempt to hang up the lace curtains that I was showing earlier. I also bought some new just rod pocket curtains to put up as well. Because we rent this place, I didn't want to faff around with like expensive curtains or anything. So I'm just going to replace the ones we've got. They're polyester, but they've got a nice kind of linen-y cotton texture to them. So they're going to be easy to look after, but also have that really nice cotton vibe. And here is the lace curtain that I bought as well. And I've also got some stretch wire with the hooks and eyes to put that up, but I might have to quickly give both of these a slight iron first because they're looking a little bit creased. The rule of thumb when working with lace curtains is to make sure that the curtain is at least double your window width to allow for enough gathering. So before pressing the creases out, I'm just quickly going to measure and cut my curtain to the right size. Okay, the lace curtain has been attached. The little screw in hooks up the top were really tricky to put in. So hopefully they will stay. Um, if they fall down by the end of today, then I'm gonna have to rethink how to put this up. But I really, really love the look of it. It gives us so much more privacy. And with the warm tones I have planned for this space, I think it's going to look really, really nice. But before I put the grey curtains up, which I hopefully will be able to reach, I'm going to do the next coat of paint. I think I'll go straight for the pink paint now. And I'm so excited to see how these drawers are going to look painted pink.
are up. They're definitely way better than the other curtains that were up. And I just love the lace curtain so much as well. I just think it looks way nicer than it did before. So now that the curtains are up, I'm gonna have a little bit of a break now for lunch and then I'll probably do another coat of paint um, and I'll catch up with you afterwards. So I just had a package arrive in the mail and I'm really excited because it's from one of my favorite brands, Aesop. Matt and I actually placed an order for some new bits last week because he really loves it too. So let me show you what we ordered. Okay, I'm so excited. Um, so what's this? Looks like some little samples in there. So that's exciting. So first up, we've got this really beautiful fragrance. I don't know how you pronounce that, but this one's for Matt. This is his scent of choice. So their fragrances are unisex, but this one in particular is a really nice masculine scent. It smells so delicious and smoky, kind of a little bit like whiskey. Um, and it's actually inspired by a Japanese forest which is right up our street. We obviously love Japan and we actually first bought this perfume while we were in Japan for Matt so it just has such good memories associated with it. And then for myself I purchased one of my favorite ever scents from Aesop which is pink pepper, lavender, and tobacco. And this is actually a room spray. So I just kind of squirt this all throughout our house to make it smell nice. I'm not a huge fan of candles. I much prefer just to spray some room spray in the house to make it smell nice. And this scent is so delicious. So I'm so excited that these have arrived just in time to put them in our beautiful new bedroom. Okay. So I've just painted the last coat of the drawers. I think it's going to be the last coat anyway. It's looking pretty good. And I'm just getting really excited. Like I'm starting to really see just how nice this room's going to be. And I, I don't know, making a new space is just such a nice thing to do. It, it, for me anyway, just makes me so excited and I feel all inspired again. And it just feels like a real nice treat to yourself, taking some time to change things up in your space and add new things. It's just a really nice thing. So yeah, I'm just getting really excited. And even though it's taking quite a long time, like it's already nearly two o'clock, um, I'm just really enjoying the whole process. It's just, yeah, something really nice that I feel like I'm doing for myself, which I should do more to be honest. So now what I'll do while I wait for the paint to dry is I've got this wicker basket here that I've basically just cut a little hole in the bottom of and I'm going to use it as a light shade in this space as a kind of like makeshift rattan light shade. This basket only cost me $2 so it's going to work out to be a $2 lampshade which I was looking at some that were a lot smaller than this and they were going to cost me over $100 Australian so I think this will do perfectly fine. Let's see if I can actually get this light shade off. Let me show you what it looks like. So the light's actually quite nice. It's got this really cool ceiling detail. This house is quite old, so I think it's just the style of when this house was built. But the lampshade is pretty ugly, to be honest, and it collects dust like nothing else. So it's actually really gross. So yeah, let me see if I can take this down. It was a bit of a stretch, but I managed to get it in. And look how cute it looks. I love it. I'm so happy with this little DIY project. So yeah, like I said, if you wanna find out exactly how I made this, then check out last week's video. I then decided to repot my plant into a much bigger pot and also tied it to a piece of dowel to help support it upwards. I picked up this really cute plant stand from the thrift store recently and thought it would be the perfect home for this pot plant. I decided to sit it in the corner of the room right next to the doorway. I'm not sure if this is where it's going to stay or not. It really depends if it can get enough light here, but I guess time will tell. Okay, I think it's now time to fix this.
at it, I decided to fix up my clothes rack a little bit and ended up sorting through them and getting rid of a number of our clothes and shoes that we no longer wear. And while I was doing this, I found my wedding dress and just had to get it out and hang it up so I could stare at all of its prettiness for a little while. bring my freshly painted drawers back inside. I can't wait to see how they look in this space. It's looking so cute. I'm gonna let it air dry in here for a few more hours before I put the drawers back in. Um, I actually need to sand them back a little bit so I might do that now. And then I can put the little star handles back onto them and they'll be right to go. I think it's going to look really nice. It's day two of the bedroom makeover and I'm actually really impressed with the amount I managed to get done yesterday. All the main big projects are complete, which means today is just going to be about styling up this room nicely and all of those fun things. So far this morning, all I've done is put the drawers back into the main body piece of the drawer and it's looking really good. So let me show you what it looks like. And here it is. How cute does that look? I'm actually really happy with the two-toned look. Not only did it save a heap of time not having to paint the drawers, but it just makes it something a little bit different and I'm really, really happy with it. So now what I think I'm going to do, which is something I've been looking forward to so much, is putting the big round mirror up onto this spot to make this area kind of like dressing table slash outfit photo taking area and just style it up really nice. So yeah, it could look really cute for some Instagram outfit shots, hopefully. And it's up. I love how big it is. I think I can take some really cute outfit shots here. And with the pink drawers, it just looks exactly how I hoped it would. I'm really, really happy. And look at it. How adorable is this spot? I just think it's the cutest little setup ever. I feel very, very lucky to have this little space here. I then put my brand new linen pillowcases onto my pillows and then hung my amazing new macrame wall art up onto my wall. I've also shared how to make this wall hanging art piece in last week's video, so definitely check it out if you'd like to make one for yourself. Let me give you a good look around. I'll pop some before and after shots in now.
incredibly happy with how this room has turned out. I feel like I haven't done massive changes, but the small changes that I have made have made all the difference to this space. I feel like this room is now going to be one I will want to spend time in and I'll actually want to have my bedroom door open so people can see inside. It's just a really, really lovely cozy space now. So I hope you enjoyed coming with me on my bedroom makeover journey and I really hope this video inspires you to have a go at fixing up one of the rooms in your house or your bedroom as well. If you did enjoy this video then I would love it if you could give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more makeover videos and other sewing type videos too. Have a lovely day and thanks for watching.